Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for January 2021. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. So we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind, this is for Sagittarius in January. Okay, you're going to probably be watching this way before January, some of you. This is for January. It's a preview of what's to come. All right? So if you're a cross watcher, this, this can be vice versa. Okay? So this could be your reading, whatever. You take what resonates and leave the rest. One thing that I wanted to say, I don't know why, you guys were up next, was um, aggressiveness. You need to let go of the aggression. If you're wondering why people don't want to communicate with you or they're pushing you away, it's because of your aggressive behavior. Okay? Um, in the in the snappy, snippy snappy, you know. It's better to be quiet than to come back with a smart ass comeback. It's the smart ass comebacks. The sarcasm. Like oh, what is it? It's kinda like when somebody says, Why do you think I asked? That's sarcastic. That's smart ass. That's basically belittling another person. If you if you, if you want things to get better, you can't do that kind of stuff. So let's get started. What do we have for Sagittarius for January 2021? Let's start right here. And I happen to love Sagittarius. I know you guys think I beat you up. I don't beat you up. I'm trying to help you. One of my best friends, I only have a handful of, of friends that I call friends, and I, I would say this many that I trust. Not even a handful. And one of them is a Sagittarius that I've known my whole life. And she is probably one of three, or not even, maybe. She is one that I trust. So anyway, what do we have for Sagittarius? Transformation. This is death. Okay? This is the death card. This is a card of transformation. It is a card of profound change. But death isn't easy. It never was. It's painful. It hurts. But endings lead to new beginnings. They lead to a to a new you. So you may be suffering. A painful release okay you're you're letting something go this is a separation it is a loss this separation and loss leads to a new beginning okay this is a beautiful new beginning this is a transition this is the ending it's the end of something in your life this ending leads to a fresh start okay it leads to a beautiful new beginning but you can't fight it fighting it only adds to the suffering death is actually very beautiful because it's a chance to sprout it's a chance to uh, start over right This is a destruction of the old and the beginning of the new, right? It is. So what do we have for Sagittarius? Well, some of you haven't even made it this far because at the beginning I told you to check your aggression. Somebody got triggered. 
that person that is gone is going to suffer because they they don't they can't hear it they won't hear it spend some quality time together it is important that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with listening and talking to each other so you're going to be spending time with somebody quality time that means listening really listening you know that and listening means not a snapping back just listening talking gently It looks beautiful to me. It really does. You are definitely going to be going through a completion. Whether it's now while you're watching this and you are rising in January. Or you're going to be going through the ending in January. That's a 10. 46 equals 10, which is a completion. And this is a completion as well. So something significant is ending for you. Night, maybe a relationship. It could be the Knight of Cups reversed. Now the Knight of Cups reversed is not looking for a relationship, not interested in a relationship, uh, not growing. A relationship that isn't growing. There's lack of growth. There could be drinking here. There could be uh, trouble. Okay, we could have somebody here that is melodramatic, that is a daydreamer, that... Uh, is very crafty. This could be sex, drug, or alcohol abuse. There's letting letting somebody's been letting themselves go. There's a poor poor appearance issues. There's uh, two facedness. There's emotional outbursts. Uh, there could be some poor health here. There's a need for uh, to master your emotions. I need to get another card. What is that? Knight of Cups. Oh, Queen of Swords reversed. Now there's some sort of bitterness here. There's bitterness. There's anger. There could be even some hate. There, and you may, I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra, a Libra, a Gemini, Aquarius, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but there's some, and this could be like a wicked stepmother or a mother-in-law or a wicked witch or you could be dealing or even a father it doesn't have to be a mother this is a step it could be a step parent um, there's a lack of relationship growth could be a sibling um, there's some sort of animosity here you may be in a relationship with somebody that is uh, mean this person is hard to deal with I feel like it's a it's a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I think that's who you. I feel like it is. Could be a water sign, but I really feel like it's an air sign. Anyhow, I feel like you are dealing with somebody that is cruel. I feel like this person is cruel, and you need to master your emotions. You you may be self medicating. There could be some self medicating here. I'm I'm not sure, but anyhow. Um, this is lack of communication, uh, somebody that is very um, mean-spirited. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that, I feel like it's a stepmother, you know, or it's that kind of energy, the wicked stepmother, like from Maleficent. You know, that's what I'm picturing. But she really wasn't, but, and you know what I'm trying, I'm trying to do, whatever, from Snow White, the, the, the witch. But anyhow, uh, high priest the high priest just the high priest reverse this is a father figure or a mother figure it could be a father this is somebody that is having a hard time doing the right thing because of society this is social pressure the hero font reversed this is being controlled by a father figure so questioning his authority this could be a mother and a father and somebody is questioning their authority Okay. anyhow there's disgraced here we have a relationship that is no longer on the same page 
That is what we have here. And it doesn't have to be the lover. It could be with somebody that you live with or somebody you've been in some sort of relationship with. This relationship is not on the same page. There's, there's some sort of... Uh, unhappiness it's dysfunctional it's insecure it's unrealistic i feel like uh, there's ineffective communication uh there's it's like it's unforgiving you're in some sort of unforgiving uh situation that has really torn you down right it's really torn you down it's tested your faith you may have lost faith maybe you have lost faith in god or you've lost faith in humanity you know and you're angry i feel like there's anger here I it lost faith in humanity. It's unbelievable. So I do feel like there is still hope, though. There's hope. There's hope for renewal. There's Everything happens for a reason. The star card is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. So you may be experiencing a tower moment, which obviously you're going to be because the star comes after the tower. So you're going to be experiencing a tower moment that causes this death. Okay, your profound change, this transformation. You are going to be going through a transformation. It's not going to be easy. Okay, it's not, go I can see that it's not going to be easy. You may feel embarrassed. You may feel a disgraced. You may, you may, you may, something may happen that really uh, embarrasses you. That's what I got to say. But this is, a, there's a reason. There's a reason why this tower falls because you are being called to start with a clean slate. Okay, you are being called to build a stronger foundation. You are being called to let go of something that doesn't serve you anymore. This is this tower moment is a necessary evil that you have been avoiding. You've been avoiding it. You've been trying not to deal with it, but you have to deal with it. If it's not realistic, if it's not practical, if it's not stable, you can only ignore it for so long. So anyway, you do have a new beginning here after the tower falls so be expecting a tower moment i feel like this tower moment has to do with this person that is very controlling this person is um mean-spirited uh selfish self-centered can't do the right thing because of society So it is in regards to this person right here. This person is very, is not very spiritual, but they may say that they're spiritual, but they're not very spiritual. But anyway, I feel like you are about to receive a blessing and that is for you. I believe this blessing is for you. This, this is help arriving after the tower falls. Okay. This is like your fairy godmother. All right. This fairy godmother is coming to help you. They're helping to guide you out of this mess. And I think you've been in a mess with an individual who uh, isn't very loving, put it that way. This person isn't very loving. They're not very kind. They're not very gentle. I do feel like you're going to be having some tears this month. I feel like it's going to be tearful. I feel like it's going to, it's sad. I do feel like it's sad. But there's help. There's some sort of help arriving for you. Could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Um, and then maybe this is you. Maybe this is you. Could be an Aquarius. I feel as though you are going to regain your strength. You're going to regain your poise. You're going to regain control. You are going to find a way to persevere through whatever this situation is. You are going to be more healthy. You're going to be more healthy. You're going to be more uh, proud. You're gonna, you're something is gonna happen, and it's really gonna pick you up. This help that arrive, there's help arriving. You're being guided out of this situation. Help is arriving. This is gonna pick you up. This is definitely a pick me up. This is you. This is you. You're gonna be turning your back on this individual, and by or this or this individual is leaving your life. This individual could be leaving your life, or you're leaving their life. Anyway, you're going to be on top. 
It feels like you're going to be on top. It feels like you're going to be healthy. You're going to be confident. Your confidence is going to come back. Your determination, you're going to be proud. Your energy is going to come back. It feels like you're going to be strong again. Something is happening. This is a transformation. You, It's like, it really is. This is a big transformation. You're going to go, you're going to come from a deep but dark place right back into it. You're coming back into it. That's exactly what this is too. That's what a transformation is. But a death involves letting something go. Okay, that's the way it goes. That is absolutely the way it goes. So this, you're going to be letting something go that... I feel it has to do with a relationship that was one-sided. I think you are in a one-sided relationship. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you're married to this person. Could be a father, could be a mother, could be a stepmother, mother-in-law, something like that. This person is very greedy and selfish. Could be a sibling, like I said, like I already said that. But anyway, this person that you are dealing with, I feel like this person is going to lose their power over you. They're going to lose their power. You're taking it back in some way. But not in a in a in a in a, in a, in a sorry, aggressive manner. Okay? And it's funny that I was like stuttering there. You got to let go of the aggression, okay? This is aggression. And maybe this is you. The Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that is very aggressive. And that pushes relationships away. Nobody wants to be in any kind of relationship with somebody that is aggressive and always wants to fight and always has a snappy, snippy comeback. This is somebody that is very, maybe it's you. Maybe you're the one that is very sarcastic, that is angry and harsh. Maybe you need to be more gentle. Maybe that's a lesson you need to learn. Maybe you'll learn that lesson because you lose somebody. Anyhow, I feel as though you are going to be in control by the end of the month. You are going to be in a whole different mindset. You're going to be in a whole different mindset. Okay. You're going to be looking very, very beautiful, okay? This is a new purpose. You're going to, it feels like almost you're going to be looking youthful as well. As soon as this energy is gone, it's like your, your beauty and your, your good looks and your freshness come back, okay? But you have to let go. It feels like animosity. There's some sort of animosity here that is, it's hindering you. It's hindering you in a huge, huge, huge way. I know that it is. You can't, you know, I I, I meant to go, I, I went to go uh, meet my brother the other day and uh, to pick up a birthday gift. And his wife wouldn't even look at me. I didn't do one thing to her, not one thing. But she has animosity towards me because of a Stepmother. There's no need for that. That's just an example. She wouldn't even look at me. I never did one thing to her ever. That's the kind of stuff you need to let go of. Why hate? Why hate? What good does it do? It not only hurts you, it doesn't hurt me. There's, there's, there's sadness here. There's sadness. There's a lack of self-love. I mean, the Ace of Cups reversed is emotional blockage. It's emotional shutdown. It's heartache. I feel like you've lost a lot of emotional content because of bitterness and hate. I feel like this is your energy. You start out with this energy. 
yes, I do believe there's another person involved. I believe that, you know, somebody has rubbed off on you, which made you angry, which made you upset. But you don't have to take on their energy. You don't have to react the way that they do. Be love. Anyway, Sagittarius, I feel like this month you are going to be having some tears. Okay? Because there's tears here and there's tears here. There's tears because of a loss. It's, it, it's not easy. It's definitely not easy to let go. It's not easy to let go of who you once were. To let go of some sort of bitterness even. You know? To let go of your old thoughts. Your old, and this is thoughts. Your old ways. It's not easy. But if you react out of bitterness and hate. It's only going to hurt you and it's going to fester. And nobody's going to want to be around you because, you know, when I do these readings, what goes around comes around. When you treat people like that, nobody's going to like you either. You reap what you sow. So anyway, the Queen of Wands is some, and I feel like your youth and your health, your good health is going to come back as soon as you, and this is having a hard time doing the right thing, the High Priest reversed. I feel like you need to find it inside of you to let go of your old beliefs. This is about beliefs, your old systems, your old ways. So anyway, Sagittarius, I feel as though this month, <sighs> there's going to be an injustice here. This is an injustice. It is. It's not fair. You may be saying those words. You may be saying this isn't fair. There could be some legal flaws. There could be some legal issues that wake you up. Okay, the justice card reversed is court rulings, legal losses going against you. It's an injustice, not happy with the outcome, placing blame, an argument with no resolution in sight. There's, there's an imbalance here and there's a lack of accountability and dishonesty. I'm not, it's not my fault right here. It's not my fault. Not my fault. If you can't take accountability for your actions, well then you may lose, you may lose, you may lose something. This is karma, it's bad karma. Okay, it's a loss, and it is, it's a loss. So I, I, I feel like you are going to be experiencing a loss this month, and I think that it has to do with a mother or a father or something like that, or um, yourself, a loss of your, your old ways, a loss of yourself, a loss of uh, um, who you used to be. But I feel like you, or it's a part of you, a loss of part of you. But I feel like you have to come up with a new vision. You need to, you need to be positive and, instead of negative. And this is positive and this is negative. And I feel like typically you're very optimistic. You are typically very optimistic. But when you have hate inside of you, that washes away the optimism. So anyway, I feel like there is hope. There is hope for renewal. I feel like you have some sort of help that is arriving. This help is arriving after a loss. You're going to have a loss. Okay, that's all there is to it. This help, it, this, this, you're going to be guided down a new path. You are going to need time to heal. I feel like uh, it's going to be very, very, very emotional. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. This is not fair. Something not going in your favor. And it's a blessing in disguise because this is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. So you're going to be experiencing a tower moment that is a, a blessing. But when it's happening, it's not going to seem like a blessing. Because once this false sense of security or this false foundation or... Whatever it is crumbles, 
you are now free. You're now free. You're free to uh, be who you are. You're free to go in a new direction. You're free to take a new adventure. Okay. I think that you're you're gonna find that you um, your health starts to get better. I feel like your health starts to get better. You start to find your drive. Your ambition comes back. I think that you you've lost your spark, right? You've lost your flair because of whoever you've been dealing with and maybe it's yourself. Okay? But and if you place blame on somebody else, that's a no-no. That is a no-no. Mm -mm. And that's the hate and the bitterness. Okay? You got to let go of that hate and bitterness by blaming some everybody has the right to their opinions. Doesn't mean they're a bad person. This is the Queen of Wands can be very forceful. You can't, you shouldn't be forcing anybody to believe what you believe. This is about beliefs and this is force. This is, you know. Anyway, I feel like, I feel like it's going to be a very emotional month because I feel like there's a, there's, there's, I feel like it's the death of the old you, honestly. I do. And I think it's painful. I think it's painful. I think it's a painful situation because it's not easy. This is death is profound change. Okay, that is a death card, even though it says transformation. So I feel like you are going to be going through a major uh, change, and it's it's going to be uh, rough. I do feel like it's going to be rough. I feel like uh, it's going to be very, very, very emotional. It is going to be emotional. I feel like you're going to... You may even have sweats. You know, it feels like they're sweating here. Um, I don't know where that came from. Um, as you're releasing toxin, toxins, okay? You're probably maybe releasing some sort of toxins. You're probably going to be working on your health. Your health is going to get better. Your health... You're going to be looking the best. You're going to be looking the best that you have looked in years. Okay, like when you were in your early 20s, okay, that's what you're, that's, you know, that's what it is. It's like you're going to be, you may be feeling like that as soon as you release this, uh, whatever it is, energy. Um, anyway, I feel like January is a month of big, huge change for you, but you aren't going to like it. I have to be honest, you're not, you're not, you're not going to like it. You're not going to like it, but. But, in the end, when you see the outcome, you're going to realize why it happened. You are. You're going to realize why it happened because you're going to be, you're going to be glowing. You are. You're going to be glowing at the end of this situation. This, some of you could, I mean, there could be some, some legal issues that pop up. Okay, with that high priest reverse and the justice reverse, somebody could even, you know, I don't know what's going on, but it feels like there could be some legal consequences here for somebody's actions. Okay, so I don't know how that resonates with you. Um, your confidence is about to come back. You're going to see a surge in self confidence in January. You are, and you're going to be looking really, really, really good. But this, this, this comes after you let go. So if you, if you think that uh, your bitterness doesn't show, everybody can see it. Good luck.